Hey guys, Ed here, and in this week's vlog, I will be discussing the environmental issue of pollution and how I would like to see this issue change. According to NationalGeographic.com, pollution is the introduction of harmful materials into the environment. The small harmful materials that are introduced into the environment are called pollutants. Not all pollutants are created by human activity. For example, a pollutant can be something natural such as volcanic ash. Other pollutants can be things such as trash that is not biodegradable, pesticides into the soil, and even runoff from large factories. A large sum of all these pollutants can have very harmful effects to the quality of our land, air, and water. Pollution is a global issue. All forms of life on this earth depend on Earth's supply of air and water. The byproducts produced by emissions from cars, trucks, buses, and other automobiles do not dissolve directly when exposed to air particles. Instead, they may hang around in the atmosphere for decades and disrupt very important environmental functions such as filtering of UV rays. Recent studies done by InsideClimateNews.org show that there is a link between pollution exposure to asthma, autism, heart disease, cancer, schizophrenia, migraines, and more. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, they announced in March 2016 that a new fuel and automobile standards that will cut gasoline sulfur levels by more than 60% and reduce emissions from cars and trucks. The EPA hopes these moves will prevent up to 2,000 premature deaths a year and 50,000 cases of respiratory ailments in children. Already around the world, governments are taking actions to fight pollution. The first step many nations have taken, for example, would be recycling. With recycling, we can process garbage so that useful materials such as glass, plastic, and aluminum cans can be broken down and reused. Another way to prevent pollution would be to make better transportation choices, such as carpool from place to place, consolidate your trips, or use public transportation. Lastly, a change to your energy choices could cut down on pollution. For example, turn the lights off when you aren't in the room. Make sure windows are well sealed, and you can even air dry your clothes and reduce carbon footprint by 2,400 pounds a year instead of using a dryer. Thanks for listening, everyone, and remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle.